yeah hello everyone uh, in today's class uh, we'll understand the basic commands like login password cal date printf echo ls who am i and who commands so we'll execute one by one live in the screen so first uh, i open terminal in my macbook now i'll directly start with first command that is login login generally asks for the username so here you can see a user which we are using now so I'll give new user it will ask for the password I'll enter the new user password it will successfully logged in fine now cd slash uh, I'll go to home directory next I'll give pwd it will show I'm in users bar user1 cd dot dot and pwd command so now I'm in user So initially you can see before I was in home and new user now I am under users as new user clear now yeah so that's about login so after login I repeat again login user so generally why we have this login is I have more than one users which are connected to my system so you can log in or switch user using login option login will ask you the username followed by you have to enter the password and it will show lost login that was last i had logged in the same day september 3rd time was 12 26 seconds on my terminal number fine now we'll see after login how to change the password p a s s w d is a command make a note of it so once i type p a s s w d on screen changing password for new user will be asked with old password as a first option so I'll type my old password and I'll give new password retype the new password so successfully changed message will be displayed in view of the operating system and in Mac it will directly prompt you the system now again I'll verify whether the password is changed for new user yeah so it's been successfully changed and I was able to log in with the new password so i hope you have understood with the login and password change options next we'll see the new command cal command cal is a command to display the calendar so as you can see cal executed the current month that is september 2017 with the complete calendar details so cal also has an option of for example jan i want to see 2017 so i can go that cal i can give complete or the keyword of the month so it will process me with exact details not only the current month I can also go back and see for 2016 2015 accordingly any number of I can even check for 90s fine so this is about cal command next is simple one that is a date so date is a command that displays the day month date followed by the time so time is also displayed using date command that is Indian standard time has been displayed with the year next we'll move on to the important command that is echo command in Unix echo is a command to print a message for example echo hello hello is printed echo we are in class 3a we are in class 3a message will be displayed now echo command is normally used to display content on screen so if you want to print a message or display a message on screen you will be using echo statement now I have a scenario wherein I have to display more than one line so using echo for example hey if I type enter it will not display hey so I can't continue with the statement so we have an option wherein I can use double quotes with echo statement hey oh, sorry for that through a now I'll type the double quote so just ignore this a hey we are in class 3a so using double quote I was able to display the content line by line using echo command so anyway we'll have a one more option for the same echo
this is a unix command execution class and aligned so this is a unix command execution class has been displayed on screen line by line so this is about echo statement followed by echo statement we have one more statement i mean one more command in the unix operating system that is printf so what is this printf printf also has the same functionality but as in c program there is no parenthesis but we have a double quote wherein we can type hey class 3a now i want to continue with a new message so i can use slash n that's new line followed by but we also attend classes in 3b and i'll close so here you can just notice hey we are in class 3a but we are, that's in the next line that but we also attend classes in 3b so i'll customize the same oh i'll give a new line so it should be in small so now we have a two displays in same line so backslash one special characters can be used using printf statement so later on in the further tutorials we'll explore more on echo and printf statements how it can be customized so next we'll move on fast into ls command so ls is a command to display the content of a current directory now i am in new user directory wherein i have different files that has been listed using ls command ls is listing command fine so as it's a listing command you can see it's been listing all the directories files with respect to new user now i also have a command so we'll explore more on ls using a particular directory for example i'll give ls hyphen l is a command which will tell you what are the directories and which are the files in this particular display for example we'll take a file rb2 as a directory so i'll get into cd space rb2 enter now i'll give pwd so you can see pwd my current working directory is rb2 inside rb2 now i'll be running ls command so i don't have any files inside this so i'll give clear so we'll start now pwd is a command to know the present working directory previously i was a new user now i am in rb1 sorry rb2 now here i'll create a file using touch command touch abb one is created touch is edit a command to create a file we'll come to that later touch abb1 file is created abb2 touch abb3 now when i give ls i have totally three files that are created using touch editor now what is the content of this file content can be displayed by cat command there is no content so if i want to give a content i'll give so cat abb now we can see hello we are in abb file fine so seeing this now we'll operate ls command ls space hyphen l is a option to display the parameters of file for now we'll understand in abstract so we totally we have three files in my directory rb2 rb2 i have three files that is abb abb2 and abb3 so all three are files there are no directories that has been created inside rb2 so all three totally three files so this represents file access permissions this is number of links and this is the user and this is the group and this is the size of the file because these two files don't have any content that's why it's zero creation date month followed by the file name so it has been displayed using ls command normally we'll just understand ls is a command to list ls hyphen l is to list with respect to different parameters of a file next last we'll see what is who command who is a command to know who are the users who are currently working in the system that is 
previously have a new user using console and now I have a new user using terminal with respect to today's state. This is about who command who am I will actually tell who the user you are currently logged in as that is I'm logged in as a new user. So I hope uh, this is clear. So we'll catch up next with other commands. Thank you.